Well, it's a little BS trick on the uh, vice grip. Sometimes when you're clamping the vice grips down, you have a hard time releasing them with this lever. And that's because this, this one's okay. And this one actually bent out even more because as you use these and you clamp these down, sometimes to unclamp them, you got to put a real lot of force on this to open them up. And it starts bending this arm where this is closer to that. And then it doesn't have as much leverage to open them up. So in other words, if you had this clamped down on this tight, you know, you might have a hard time opening it up. This one will be easy to open up because the way I have it, but it's hard to open one hand. <laughs> The way I did it, though, was I bent the lever a little bit. And I put that on there kind of tight. Yeah. There it is. But uh, in one hand, it's kind of hard to get it open. What I did was I put this in here. And I got it way up in there. And I bent this lever. I actually had this clamped in over here. And I bent this lever out a little more. Then I took the vise and I crimped it in a little bit like that to give it some strength. You know, because if this is flat, it doesn't have as much strength. But before, since this thing was gotten used a lot and I clamped on it on there really hard, sometimes when I released it, it was very hard to release. And after a while, it started bending this. So then after a while, every time I was using this, it was hard to release it. I did it on there pretty tight. You know, you know, it's when you have it on there pretty tight, you gotta get it. You know, it's kind of hard to uh, get it off with one hand. But now, since I bent that out more, see, here's a good one right here. This one's actually bent out even more. It's easy to release. It's no problem. This kind's a different style. This is, uh, I think it's by Armstrong. Yeah. It's a little bit different style. This one's not too bad, to tell you the truth. That's not a bad idea on that. But uh, a lot of times you'll find, you know, these vice grips, even the ones, because now none of them are made in the USA. This was supposed to be made in the USA. This was, uh, you know, Armstrong, when I saw it, said made in the USA. I bought it and said Taiwan, which is better than mainland China. But even the ones now, the regional Irwin Peterson vice grips are all made in China. I think I have some that are still made in USA. This one might be a USA one right here. I think, yeah, I think this is an original USA one. But they still, even if they're USA, if you're using these really hard, you're clamping down on this really hard, and when you go to release it, it's, uh, what happens is, um, what happens is you start you if it's really on it really tight you you could start bending this metal right here and you have to re-bend it back. So this one I bent back a little further than this one, and I got to watch it don't keep my pinky in there <laughs> when I clamp it tight, but um, because it's, there's not much room. But this one actually has more leverage to open it up after it's clamped on tight than the original style, and that's how you can fix that because a lot of people just put up with it and. They're like, you know, I mean, it, this thing was getting to the point where I had to put like a little C-clamp in here to clamp this and take a, a bar and open it up or something or a pipe and open it up. That's how screwed up it was getting. Then after I bent this lever more like that, this one opens up under pressure easier than the original style. And I used I used this thing to bend the lever. Actually, I had this... I just clamped more like over here and I used a circle to bend the lever and clamp the lever so it's got a U-shape back in here for strength because you don't want this flat. You want this to have a slight curve in there so it, um, it's got strength on the end of it when you go to release it. You know, you can click it and it'll, it'll pop open. But, uh, you know, that's one way to make these things last a little longer. And, you know, there's, there's always stuff you could do. I mean, even if one of these rivets started coming, getting messed up, you could, 
you could stick them in a, you know, you could take a big baby sledgehammer and an anvil and mushroom them down and tighten it all damn thing up. And I always like putting uh, grease on this thing versus oil, grease, because that's the one part of these things that uh, sometimes it gets hard to turn because you know, it gets a little rust in here. Oil doesn't really cut it or WD-40. I like putting really a real bearing, bearing grease on there. But that's a, that's a little tip. You can make these work. You now it's a stupid little tip, but works for me because um, I make stuff last way longer than it should. You know, that's the way it should be. So got another pair back there. I've got loads of, I mean, I don't know how many vice grips i got. I know there's loads of them all over the place. Probably a couple dozen pairs. These things are pretty good. And to tell you the truth, I like the... Uh, Got several of these. This is my oldest one. These channel locks are good too. So, anyway, over that.